Hey, Stop in there with AB Boxing News, man. I'm here with Richard Acevedo, 1 0, 1 KO. How's everything, man? Everything's been good, man. Been training hard. Been training hard. Talk about the training, man. How, you know, you're coming off from your first fight. You know, so what did you learn from that first fight and even the training coming to possibly your second fight now? Well, I had my, my brother, uh, Herbert Acevedo, all the way through, so he helped me out. Um, you know, it was, it was nervous scene at first, you know, I've been out of the ring for like three and a half years in the amateurs, so I just started training and uh, for like a good solid six months and just turned pro. And uh, I experienced a lot, I got a headbutt in the first round, so I got split open right here. And then, um, yeah, so it was a different, uh, it was a lot, it was, it was really different, but I liked it, you know, and I look forward to making more fights. You discussed about you, uh, stopped boxing for three years, man, what, what made you come back? to the sport of boxing? Well, I have a daughter back home, and um, so I had to go work and stuff, and I saved up, and then came out here, enjoyed my brothers. Uh, yeah, man, it's something that I would never leave, you know, my dad would always talk to us, and uh, he grew us up since we were kids boxing, you know? What was the biggest adjustments you had to make from amateurs to uh, professional, knowing that you had more than 80 amateur fights? Okay, yeah, um, it's a whole, it's a whole nother level, you know? Um, I had to change my rhythm, you know, and the pros is more calm, picking your shots and uh, and all that, you know. <laughs> and what about your brothers, man? You guys are all pros. Man, do you guys ever, like, argue, like, who's the better one of the brothers? Nah, never, man. Never, not even once? Nah. Since all, all of you guys turning pros, you guys don't even spar each other, nah. no, no real Oh, yeah, fight? me and my other brother spar. And who wins? Yeah. Who, who's one in those sparring? Between uh, you? We work with each other, man. Oh, we're all, there's no well, I've only been dropped one time, or uh, one time in my life, and then that was by him. And that was when I was younger. Uh, wow. I was like uh, 13, 14 at the time. Wow. Yeah. And talking about the weight, uh, the division fighting, you, you discussed that, you know, you're going to have some fights at welterweight and even yeah. junior middleweight, man. Um, yeah, I'm a. Uh, Cause uh, from uh, all those three years layoff, I was at like 185, so I dropped. <clears throat> I kept dropping weight, and then I made my debut at 150. So I'm adjusting my weight right now. So I'm gonna have a couple fights at 150 and move 147. Let's talk about some upcoming fights, man. What are your thoughts about Gamero Rigida versus Vasily Machenko, man? Uh, that's that's a real good one. I don't know, man. It's gonna be tough, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with. Uh, uh, damn, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Lemachenko probably. Lemachenko, uh, do you think it's really gonna it's gonna end in a knockout like the way uh, Lemachenko has been displaying his skills? You know? Nah, I don't think so. I, I don't think it, I think they'll go all rounds. You know, they're both they're both fast and strong, so I think they they'll make it through the way. What about the impact if Rigadell has to move up two weight classes just to fight Lemachenko? Uh, and yeah, that's that's right. Um, then I don't know, yeah. Uh, Lemoncheco has the upper hand there. He has the more power. Uh, talk about it, one of your good <coughs> friends in this gym, Leo Santa Cruz, there was rumors saying that the fight was canceled between Abner Mars and Santa Cruz, man. Um, in your perspective, do you think Santa Cruz deserved uh, to give Mars a rematch, even though the first fight, he utilized the jab from the whole 12 rounds against Mars? Yeah, I think uh, it's gonna happen soon. And, um, I think uh, the results will end up the same, you know. I think uh, Leo will get it again, and it'll be good, you know, because they'll unify the unify the belts, so that'll be good. Um, what about Oscar Valdez versus uh, Leo Santa Cruz? If Santa Cruz beats Mars the second time around, yeah, I like I like uh, Oscar Valdez, man. He's solid, but uh, I think he uh, he has still has a lot to learn, and then. Um, uh, I think Leo, he's just uh, too experienced, you know, for him right now. Where can we find you uh, social media-wise? Uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, uh, at KansasKid612, and uh, Facebook, uh, Richard Acevedo.